Welcome to the first okay. episode of Sermot's okay. Corner. We will now okay. get you over to our host, okay. Jake and Didi. Okay. Okay. We found this post uh, on Sermot's Corner, like a sports forum kind of thing, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, this Detroit Lions fan is going O off F about what happens if the Lions win the Super Bowl. Okay. Yeah. And like the level of detail is incredible. Like they really thought this through. I love those deep dives. I know, right? <laughs> so they're calling it like Detroit mayhem, like full on pandemonium. Detroit mayhem. Uh, I like that. It just captures the energy, right? Yeah. You know, it's funny because it speaks to this kind of like deep seated hope that a lot of Detroit fans have. Oh, totally. It's a city that's been through it, you know, ups and downs, economic struggles, whatever. Oh, yeah, for sure. But they always have this like the spirit about them, you know, that grit. It's like they're ready to erupt. Exactly. And this post is like the manifestation of that pent up energy. Totally. So the fan talks about like the city just exploding, right? Like yeah. everyone pouring into the streets, parties everywhere. I can almost picture. Oh, yeah, it's vivid. They're saying it'd be bigger than any celebration Detroit's ever seen. I mean, Detroit knows how to party, though, right? Like, they've had those moments. Oh, for sure. Like, the Pistons Bad Boys era, those championships. Oh, yeah. Late 80s, early 90s. I was huge. Those teams were wild. Like, that physical style of play really resonated with the city. So tough, man. And then you have the Red Wings, all those Stanley Cups in the 90s. <sighs> Legendary teams, man. Those celebrations were insane. Insane. Like, this fan is saying the Lions winning the Super Bowl would eclipse even those moments. Ah, setting the bar high. Right. Yeah. And there's this part that I love where they talk about people regretting not betting more money on the Lions. Oh, yeah. The classic, I knew it all along. Exactly. If, yeah. Like, we've all been there, right? You see your underdog team pull off the impossible. And you're like, why didn't I put my life savings on this? Exactly. Yeah. I mean, it taps into that whole psychology of sports betting. Right? Oh, totally. There's a whole science to it. It's like we get so emotionally invested in our teams. Yeah, it's more than just the game. It's about your city, your identity. And when it's an underdog team, it's even more intense. Huge underdog. Like, the Lions pulling this off would be like a miracle. A total miracle. But that's what makes it so exciting, right? Oh, absolutely. And it plays into this thing called optimism bias, you know? Oh, yeah. Explain that one. It's like this cognitive bias where we tend to overestimate the likelihood of positive outcomes. Okay. So, like, we think good things are more likely to happen than they actually are. Exactly. And it's amplified when it comes to things we're really passionate about. Like our sports teams. Or, like, investing in a certain stock or something. Interesting. So basically, Lions fans are super optimistic right now. It comes with the territory of being a fan, especially when your team is constantly defying expectations. They're believing in the impossible. And you know what? Sometimes the impossible happens. That's the beauty of sports, right? It gives us that hope. Totally. And when those underdog victories happen, it's like a collective euphoria. It's more than just a game. It's like a citywide validation. It's like a shared experience that brings everyone together. So this fan isn't just talking about a party. They're talking about a transformation. Okay, I'm intrigued. They're saying this Super Bowl win could be a turning point for Detroit. Like a civic renaissance fueled by football. Exactly. Like a surge of pride, invest everything. It's a bold claim for sure. But I can see where they're coming from. There's definitely a potential economic impact, you know? Yeah, like all those fans coming to the city for the Super Bowl, all that spending. Hotels, restaurants, merchandise, it all adds up. And then there's the long-term stuff, right? Yeah. Like maybe companies will see Detroit as a more attractive place to invest. Potentially. Yeah, th there are economists who specialize in, like, the economics of sports. No way, really? Yeah, they use these complex models to try and predict the economic ripple effects of these major events. So, like, they could tell us if a Lions Super Bowl win would actually boost Detroit's economy. In theory. Yeah. But it's never a guarantee. Right? It's not like a magic formula. Exactly. There are so many factors at play, you know. Like the city's overall economic situation, how they manage the event, even just luck. Right. It's like you can create the conditions for success, but you can't control everything. So it's a gamble for these cities, right? In a way, yeah. They're betting that a championship win will bring long-term benefits. Hoping for that lasting impact. But even if the economic side is uncertain, there's no denying the intangible effects. Oh, yeah, the stuff you can't measure. Exactly. Like that surge in civic pride, the sense of community, those memories that last a lifetime. Those are powerful things. And those are things that this Lions fan is really tapping into in their post. Totally. It's like they're speaking for a whole city yearning for that moment. And, you know, sports has this unique ability to bring people together like that. Totally. 
It transcends differences. It creates these shared experiences. And it gives us something to believe in. This fan even ends their post by inviting other fans to share their own Detroit Mayhem predictions. That's cool, turning it into a collective dream. Yeah, and it makes you wonder, right? Like if the Lions actually pulled it off. How would people react? What would that celebration look like? So let's leave our listeners with this thought. If you were in Detroit celebrating a Lions Super Bowl victory, what would your personal Detroit mayhem look like? Let your imagination run wild. That's all the time we have for this deep dive. Until next time. See ya. Bye. Okay. 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 Okay.